Forgive the audio in this video, it's not very good. I don't really know why, but forgive it for right now, please. Now, I'm gonna say this off the bat, I'm a very critical person. I like to tear things apart. It's, it's fun for me, I don't know why. Don't ask questions. So when it comes to anime, it's, it's a genuine joy of mine to tear an anime to shreds and find things that are shitty about it. And the reason for that is because I feel like people praise animes because of one specific thing and don't think about their flaws. They just like, well, these flaws are here and here's a list, but, but it's gray anime because it's really pretty and I found all these things I really, really like about it. And it's, that sounds good in theory, but for me, it's like, no, those things that I'm criticizing about are critical because sure, you can make a pretty anime, have likable characters, you can do that. That's easy. That's not like, that's never been done before, but to make a good story, to have good background to have a good world if you're doing if you're like world building all these things that people think are just like uh this could go either way are important to me so i feel differently about a lot of things we're talking about a little witch academia today because i recently watched this one because i was scared because i knew i wasn't gonna like it and spoiler i didn't like it but i'm not gonna take the road of just explaining the whole thing to you if you haven't watched this anime by this point that's not my fault I found it in English dub or you can watch it in sub. I'm pretty sure it's on like Netflix or it was on Netflix or something like that. Like you can watch this. So if you haven't, that's not my fault. Here are the reasons why I don't like this. I'm, I don't like, I don't like it at all. The main character sucks. Akko is a stubborn, spoiled brat who whines and complains, tries to take the easy way out many times, does not work very hard, sulks when she doesn't get what she wants, She's just an overall shitty character, but she has this place as like the, she has this place of like the Naruto main character. Well, they have faults, but they are supposed to learn and grow from those faults and that makes them a better person or when they realize their insecurities, it makes them a better person. She did not do this. She even at the, the very end of the anime still was acting like a spoiled brat. Naruto did that and until he started actually growing, he was looked down upon by every person that he was around. There was only the adults the situation found him tolerable. But in Little Witch Academia, Akko is look, looked at by some people like, she's like, they, they admire her for stuff and it's like, no, she's the worst person. She shouldn't be admired for anything. You shouldn't be taking her, anything she says or does into consideration, she's just a baby. She's a, a, a big baby who whines and complains all day and doesn't take stuff seriously. Like there are several moments, like I don't know all their names by the way, so excuse me for not knowing their names, but Glass's character, her parents were gonna die and she was being rude after she found out this information. She was being kind of a bitch and a, a, a baby and she's just like, the girl's just like, can you take this seriously? You know, and that's, that's her attitude anyways. Can you take this seriously? My parents are going to die. And it's like, it just was annoying to watch. Her whole, throughout the entire show, she never grew and really learned from her actions. She kind of did in the littlest bit and she did grow as a, she did grow as a magic user, but majority of the time she just was a selfish brat and I didn't like her character. It, it genuinely, her character took me out of the anime and that's my personal opinion. And on top of that, her character kind of flushed out all of the other characters in the sense of like her, her her friends other than diana it flushed out all the rest of the characters because they had genuine characters but i never really got to see their characters growth because it was supposed to be focused on her and her quote-unquote growth she didn't ever grow so it's like she didn't grow and the characters that the backup characters and the, her friends I wanted to see grow, they didn't grow. They kind of had an episode that mainly was there to show how good of a person she is or how good of a friend she is. And they never really changed after that show or after that episode because it wasn't about them changing. It was about showing and showcasing how good of a person she is. And you can really see throughout the episode they didn't really change. And at the last episode, it was supposed to be like uh, the end of Negima. Where they all were coming together as friends and loved ones. That's sweet and great. But I would have loved to see that there was something about them that changed. Something about them that became different. That they became different people. But they were just the same people there to support her. And 
sure your side characters and characters that aren't your main characters are supposed to be like supportive characters but in this case it just made me really like this was the same anime front to back if that makes sense it just had the one twist that made it different and by the way the twist was again like <sighs> it wasn't bad it was a genuinely good twist and like oh uh, Chariot is Ursula and they both were, or I guess Chariot in this case, Chariot was siphoning power from kids and that's why Akko can't do magic as well as she wants to. But also, that's not entirely true. And here's the thing, cause that, it's the difference between Akko and Diana pretty much. And it was shown in the show, but people act like this, it, some people that I talk to act like this isn't a thing, where Diana worked her ass off had the exact same thing happen to her and worked her butt off to get where she was. Akko tried to take two shortcuts, sulked when she didn't get what she wanted, and bitched and moaned the entire time. So it didn't matter. It wouldn't have mattered if she took their magic or not. Akko doesn't work hard. That's why she didn't get as far as she got, because she didn't work hard until like the very end, and even then she couldn't learn she didn't learn how to fly because she wasn't working on flying. She was working on something totally different for a totally different reason. Let's be honest, the reason was to show off in front of people or for a specific reason. Like the whole reason she learned or tried to perfect her transformation magic was specifically was specifically so she could devise the plan to make her part in the sports festival or not the sports festival, it was like the uh, moon festival, that one festival thing to make her, her uh, position in that festival seem better than it was so she get all this attention. That's what it was for. Like, like it wasn't because she was just training normally. She trained at a slow and easy pace and she knew that as someone who just came Came into the academy with no real prior training she would have to be like she would have to work double as hard but every time it got super difficult like simple things got difficult she just gave up and, and cried about it until someone came and patted her back and was like it's okay and then she started trying and it's like because you, you just didn't you weren't working as hard you have to work harder you're gonna be stressed out it's gonna be different for you. Of course, you didn't have the training everyone else had. And even if you had your powers, you still wouldn't have had the training. So you still would have had to work 10 times as hard as everyone else. Diana figured this out and was trying her bar off from day one. Akko wasn't. That's just what it was, in my opinion. I wish Diana was the main character instead of Akko. That's how serious it is. With Diana, her whole problem as a character, in my opinion, was that she was a bitch. If she had, if she wasn't a bitch and she was just like the Pira of the group of like, she was just really good at what she did and she wasn't a bitch in any way, shape or form, she would have been an awesome character. I would have been like, why isn't this our main? But because they made her a bitch, it almost canceled out all the good things that she did, all the ways she helped her, all the ways she was real with Akko and was just like, you cry and whine a lot for someone who wants to be the best. All the stuff she was going through, all of that was almost, tried. they tried to hide it under, oh, well, she's a bitch. So that means that all the stuff that she had to go through, all the stuff that she went through, all the, the ways that she was trying to be a better her, that's all canceled out because she's a bitch. Which, that doesn't, that doesn't do that for me. Cause if you took the, you just literally took that one part away from her personality, she would've been a great person. She would've been the best character in this whole thing. So, Chariot wasn't even that that good. She was kind of not the same, but she was similar to Akko in so many ways that it, it bothered me. But she was better. Like even if Chariot was our main character in the sense of personality wise, I feel like I would have liked her better, but I still would have found the main character annoying. Uh, her two friends were okay. They weren't bad, they weren't good. Again, they were just vessels for Akko to look good. So they really didn't show much in the sense of uh, personality, especially the purple hair girl. I really wish we saw a little bit more of her as a person or her, not even just her as a person, her as a, as like her family life and what she was going. We really saw none of that. Like she was just kind of left to the wayside, honestly. And glasses girl, but again, it's like it was overshadowed by Akko. And so it just like, she wasn't a care. Like she, she could have been, you know what I mean? It never, escalated from there she never became a different person or became better because of the situation it always seemed like she was the same and it was just the same exact character so they never grew even the side characters i don't remember their names i barely remember how any of them looked because it was like they were so overshadowed by the main character it was ridiculous in my opinion um i j <sighs> now i'll give it this it was a beautiful anime but again 
I don't look at how beautiful your anime is because if you take away that, what is it? So taking away how pretty it was, the story. The story, I can't call this a good story. I, at first I was like, yeah, okay, the story's pretty like, I don't have much complaints with it. But then when it came to the the thing with the, the Triskelion and the shiny rod, all that, a lot of things just didn't make sense about that whole story. The fact that other people didn't know about this, that how they were show I mean the other witches knew in a sense of like the I believe the uh like well the, the nine grand witches like those those guys knew apparently or like a few of them knew or whatever but it was just like I feel like it should have been less of a secret secret and more of a let's find the next one together. It should be a thing that's passed down from school to school so somebody knows about this so we're looking out for students like this or something and i don't mean chariot i mean like there's a set amount of witches that are alive that can lead that young person into what they're supposed to be and what they should do and to be responsible and to work hard for that magic power and make sure that they're capable and worthy not just chariot going around helping akko i mean like a serious council and there barely was there was like the people that came to kind of help her and give her like trials but they really didn't help her become her best self in my opinion because she really never grew she saved the same amateur child and again really didn't work hard for her powers and i feel like that would have been different if there was a real council of live people in her school who were trying to help her because they knew she was special and even like uh there were just a lot of things i just I got a list. I'm not even gonna lie. I have a list sitting in front of me and uh, I don't want to tear this to shreds as much as I want to right now and go like deep like point by point because it seems like it's too much. What I'm doing is too much. But I just didn't really like the show. It was it, it wasn't like it was just like this is terrible but it was like this when you take out the graphics for me if this was a manga this wouldn't be something I would pick up after reading the first book this was to be something I put down it was just like I don't really want to watch this or I don't really want to read this rather you know something where it's like I don't really want to read this I don't want to give this any more time I would never reread this I would recommend this to people because I can genuinely see how I know a lot of people who would love this but me I'm not picking this back up I'm not thinking about this anytime soon and I never watch clips of this again like that's how bad it is I don't like the whole well we we have funny moments like funny moments aren't the only thing for me and the funny moments have to be with likable characters and they're not for me so this is a no but again all this is my opinion i may hate this anime you're probably not gonna change my mind about this several people have tried i've had several arguments no one's gonna change my mind about it but if you feel like you can you can you can comment about it that's fine i am willing to listen i probably won't change my mind but i'm willing to listen uh i'm willing to listen if you want me to review a different anime and hear my dumbass opinion just so you can tear it apart and tell me how stupid i am that's fine i'm gonna review some more i don't know what this channel is turning into i'm glad i got that off my chest i'm out